actually dropped a friend off because he'd been called in for an audition. So I drove him, dropped him, and then I waited for him in the waiting room with the girls at the casting agency. But I'd had a very bad weekend. I got into a brawl and I didn't come out looking too pretty. I sort of took on half a rugby team and it was just, it didn't work out too well on my end. So I was looking pretty bad. They took Polaroids because I was like really every color of the rainbow and they put them up and they said, man, we need freaks in this film. He says, when, when you heal up, come back and see us. I was a young actor and nobody had a job and I thought, what the hell? Um, so that was an attraction enough. It could have been a commercial for toilet cleaner. I would have gone for it, you know, to earn a buck. So I went back and they said, and you are? You know, about two weeks later, and I said, that's me up there on the, on the wall because they had these pictures of me. And they went, oh my God. And they, you know, they sent me in and I uh, talked to George Miller. And he just kind of gave me the part right there. It was real weird. He said, can you memorize this? And it was like two pages of dialogue with a big speech and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I went into the other room and I just kind of got a gist of what it was. And I came out and just kind of ad-libbed what I could remember. And I guess they bought it. Just can't get it clear to my head, Jess. You were so full of living, you know? You ran the franchise on it. Now there's nothing. But here I am, trying to put sense to it.